Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And hello from the city of Portsmouth. Welcome to Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Portsmouth, and they pace Sunderland. Well, thanks, Derek. Our host should be full of confidence after their performance on match day one. They showed a lot of spirit, a lot of desire, and a fair bit of quality. They'll need to replicate that today, though. is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the game begins. Marlon Pack. Good tackle. Roberts. Space on the flank. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And support available. And giving the ball away. Oh, could be! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they won't get too many chances, so they need to make the most of this. Let's see about the delivery. No nonsense clearance. Can they nudge in front? Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Ross Stewart. Roberts. Well read to win possession back. He has teammates around him. Has eyes for goal. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here's another look. And you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Effective challenge. Stewart. Now, what can they do from here? Richard. Takes aim. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Playing it short. Neil, Ross Stewart, Luke O'Neill, able to get a body in the way. Right, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because there's been news of a goal in the Fulham match. Yeah, it's a goal for Preston North End. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They're the first on the score sheet here with 24 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And he clears the danger. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Oh, the pass denied him. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. And a chance for 2-0. In it goes! Coley converted! Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Neil. Well, Sunderland have certainly had the lion's share of possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. A very good tackle. Oh, big chance. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. They haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Over it comes. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Ross Stewart. Just Patrick Roberts. Richard. It did look on for them, but not to be. Promising attack, this. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. This to pull one back. And he finds the net. No difficulties encounter. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish. 2-1 currently. Stewart.
So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Neil. Well, they know they need to stop him. Richard. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Can't miss, surely. Determined defending. Another block. And the first half is in the history books here at Fratton Park. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Effective looking pass. Of possibilities inside the box. Oh, big opportunity! Oh, must be! Oh, he's missed it! And he's going to be angry with himself. Well, he has to do better there. He had so much of the goal to aim for. It's a poor miss. OK, with news of a goal in the Luton game, it's over to Alex Scott. Alex. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great-headed finish. They've scored the opener here with 51 minutes played. Thanks, as always, Alex. Cruz. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Well, I think many of us have felt for a while it was only a matter of time before this deal went through, and now it has been confirmed. Marcelo Brozovic has completed his move to St James's Park, Stewart. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their score. Oh, that's a goal! the wrong end well it's every defender's nightmare an own goal here well here it is again and he's a bit unfortunate you have to say but it will count as an own goal against him I'm afraid well that's a tale of four goals in this match now three one it is And making headway. Textbook defending inside the box. Right quickly over to Alex Scott. A good moment for an update, Alex. There's been a goal at Bramall Lane. It's a goal for West Brom. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They're the first on the score sheet here with 61 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, it could be on for him here. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Stewart. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. And getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Just the clearance that was needed. Can he put it away? And striking the post. And pushed onto the woodwork. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Can they square the game? And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance!
Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest poor pass useful looking ball oh it's astonishing one of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see and now the question is can they see this out Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Shot. Really a very poor ball. What can they do from here? Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, could be. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And there's the delivery. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Luton game. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's another for Blackburn Rovers. They've pulled one back with 82 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. A smart stop here. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Now the delivery did his job defensively. Richard determined defending. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Richard. To begin with, oh, the drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Well, as you can see here, the initial attempt is good, but his reaction is brilliant. He was so alert there. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. And back with Blake. Hackett. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. But nothing comes of it. And the final whistle at the end of the game, the two sides cannot be separated. But what will the home fans be feeling about what they put into the game? Well, it's a good start for them, Derek. On paper, I didn't fancy their chances in the opening two games. But they've worked hard, they've played some good football, and they deserve their draw today.
Our camera lens trained on one man. Following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of the Carabao Cup. It's Exeter City up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, it's a nice break from league action today for these clubs. Obviously a long way to go in the tournament. The final is months away but they want to put in a good performance and get through to that next round. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the match is underway. Sweeney, James Scott, Key, and he takes it on, oh commanding goalkeeping, Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Reed. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick it was in the last match. Every time the ball came to me, looked really threatening. His finishing was excellent. He's certainly going to be a marked man today. And nicely struck, off the post and back in play. Well, no damage done. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Untidy on the ball. And back with Blake. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. James Scott. And coolly done in the end. Connor Ogilvy.
He's lost it. And back with Blake. Is it going to be? And it's in! 1-0! They've breached the defence! Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Collins might really be able to trouble them here opportunity oh there it is a back and forth sort of match now they're level again the lead lasted merely minutes well here's the replay and you can see why he's upset he got something on it but not enough to keep it out that's frustrating for a keeper So back underway, one goal apiece here. Jaden Reed. Lowry now. Marlon Pack. Tom Lowry. And now with Thompson. Chance to finish. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. to be advised giving the ball away there Giovanni Brown possession given away unfortunately Blake Ogilvy not getting anxious when they have the ball. Can he take advantage? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Dedlo. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Can he play it in? Well, shielding the ball admirably. Well, clattered away. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, he couldn't quite keep that header down. Marlon Pack. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Now just the tackle that was needed. Scott. Giovanni Brown. Thompson the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order
cleared away comprehensively. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. He has time to play it over. The inside route looks promising. Oh, great defending. Could be a chance to break here. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Portsmouth taking on Watford. The cross is on. And with that, the attack. Well, the injury will mean a stoppage. The referee going down that road, so treatment can be administered now.
So a personnel change then. Cruz, Cruz, and they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And options in the centre. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Right, I'm going to bring in Alex Scott because I'm hearing there's been a goal at Goodison. It's a Alex, apologies, I have to jump in because this could be a chance. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. That'll be a Portsmouth ball. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow to confirm Swansea did score in that game. And, the... and another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Craig. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Shipley. Now, what can they do from here? Getting forward. Tremendous block. It's a perfect challenge. Can they hit on the break? Opportunity it is. Surely. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, they're keeping their opponents. Can he do it? Thwarting him. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. To finish it as a contest.
Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.